Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Uh, today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can fit your text into these pennant frames and make it look just like I have on my examples. Uh, so ever since I released these uh, pennant Canva frames, I have been flooded with messages on people wanting to know how I got the text inside the pennants. So I'm going to show you how to do that two different ways. We're going to come over here into Canva and we're going to use a Canva app to do it. And then we're going to hop over to Photopea, which is a free website that works very similar to Photoshop. And we're going to do it there as well. Uh, before we jump in though, if you have any prayer requests, make sure to leave them in the comments. Okay. So for this tutorial, I have my frames here and I've just filled them with some solid colors just so you could have some kind of visual to see these words on. And then I have the words back to school. This is a font called Quarantine and Chill. I got it from Creative Fabrica. I will link to that. You can get the exact same font. Um, a lot of people have asked for that as well. Okay, so the first method is doing this in Canva. When you do it in Canva, you cannot pick this font. You have to go with the fonts that work in the Canva app. So, let me just duplicate this page here. We're gonna delete back to school and we're gonna work within the app. So what we need to do is come over here to our apps and type in type craft. And it is this app right here called Typecraft. We're going to open that up. And now we can type in the word that we want. So the first one we're going to do is back. I'm going to put it in all caps. And now I need to come and pick a font. And there are a lot you can choose from it's just you can't use one that's not already in here um, and that quarantine and chill font is one that i uploaded to canva myself so we can't use that let's try this one we'll click out of that and we can edit this shape so you come up here you type your text you pick your font you can do some things here. Um, you can make it an outline. So you see it's hollow there. We can make it the text and the outline, um, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to leave it regular. Pick your color. I'm going to pull it down to a solid black. And you don't, for this particular design, you don't want to mess with any of this. You don't want to mirror anything. Just leave it on this no mirror. And we're just gonna start dragging it out. You do have to work over here. You cannot design over here. And we're just gonna kind of make the pennant shape. Now to get your um, edges straight, we're going to adjust these. But some of you do have those wavy flags. It is absolutely possible to do the waves as well. You can see I've got that already started. But since mine are straight, all you want to do is just drag these out until they are straight. Okay, now these probably need to come in. Then I'll straighten out a little bit more. All right, let's try that. So I'm going to hit add element to design. There it is. Let's come put it in the flag. It's a little bit too big. Okay, so now I know that's not going to work and I need to edit this. That's okay. I can come over here and continue to edit the shape. I want it to be taller here and here. Maybe come out a little bit more here and here. Go ahead and straighten these guys up. Okay, and then we're gonna hit update element. And that is looking better. You could continue to play with it from there. 
and that's how you would do it in Canva. You would get your other words and just repeat that process over and over. Now, if you want this exact font, I'm gonna get out of that app there. Let me just come back into Elements, okay. If you want this exact font, you're going to need to do this process in Photopea. So for that, let me delete all of this. You need to get your words on the page and then you need to download them as a PNG and you need to do each word separately. So we're gonna put that one here and just make it as big as the page. You want the best quality word you can get. Let me make my page a little bit smaller. Okay. Okay, let's add another page. Now we need two. I'm just copy and pasting the words onto the pages to get them as big as we can. All right, add another page. Last word, control C for copy, control V for paste, and just make it as big as you can get it on the page. You do also need them to be whatever color you want. So if you didn't want these to be black, you wanted them to be pink or something, make them exactly how you want them before you download them. I'm going to leave them black and I'm just going to download pages two through four with a transparent background so we can get these in that PNG format. Okay, I am actually going to delete these and download these pendants as well just so that I can visually see them in P while I'm working. So let me get that done too. Okay, so hop over to Photo P, and we're gonna hit open from computer so it will keep the same dimensions as our design in Canva. So open from computer, and I'm just gonna go grab that pennant flag. Back to school, open that. Okay, so this is just so that we can see um, where we want our words to be. Now we're going to bring in each word one at a time and shape them to the flags. So we will come to File, Open and Place. Then you're gonna come find the words that you saved. Here is back, let's get that opened. Okay, before you can shape it, there's an important step. We stretched it out um, to the whole page in Canva, so it's just got these negative areas and we just need to convert this to a smart object to get it to work the way we want it to. So with the word selected, you need to come over here into your layers panel, right click and convert to smart object. And so you notice it shrunk down all that negative space that is gone now. Okay, so let's shrink this down to the size we want it to be on our first flag. Probably gonna to need to be a little bit smaller than that. Okay, we're gonna start right here. Now, we have it basically the size we want. We have it converted to a smart object while we still have it selected. And I'm just gonna go ahead and name this back by double click right here so we don't get confused on what layer is what. Okay, so while it is selected, we're gonna to come to edit and transform and warp. Now there's things up here you can do. There's a lot you can do and it's really great if you wanna play around with it. There's a lot of different things that are really awesome but for what we're doing right now, leave this at none and don't worry about anything else. So you notice it gave us these four squares and then a whole bunch of dots. We're gonna use these just like in that type craft to pull where we want the word to go. Okay. 
Okay, and you'll just adjust all the dots to line up with the outline of your pennant there, of your little flag. I need to get this guy over here. Okay, that's how I want that. When you've got it looking the way you want it, you're just gonna come hit this check and that just saves it in and you've got that one there. Um, I'm gonna do the word school and I'm gonna leave out the two, just I don't need to do it over and over again. I think probably just doing it twice should be good to get you to where you feel comfortable with what we're doing here. So let's pull in the word school. We're gonna come file, open in place. Make sure you hit that open in place. I'm gonna go get the word school. Okay, we need to turn this into a smart object. So it's selected here. I can right click, convert to smart object. That's gonna get rid of all my negative space for me. Okay, let's go ahead and call this school. Ah, double click the wrong part. Okay. Now let's size this to that bottom pennant. Let's see. Probably just a little bit smaller. I don't wanna have trouble with that L getting in there. Okay, I'm gonna go, actually I'm gonna go a little bit bigger. Okay, let's try this and see what happens. So while it is selected, we're gonna come to edit, transform, warp and then we just start moving our little handles around well this one went better than the first one done i'm gonna hit my little check mark and that's that. We'd get the word two in there. And then you have a couple options. This is the exact size of your Canva project because you pulled this in from your Canva design that you downloaded. If you want, you can close that out. I hit the little I over here on the background and you can simply export the words. Or if you just wanna export the whole design, you can do that to. So decide what you want to export. I am actually just going to export the words. And then I'm going to come to file, export as a PNG. It can be named back to school, that's fine. And just save. Okay, so there it is right there. We're going to hop back over into Canva. We're going to upload what we just exported from Photopea. Okay, let's pop this guy into the design and it should fit perfectly. There it is. All right, guys, so that is two ways that you can make your text fit inside your pennants. You can do it all within Canva using the Typecraft app, Typecraft app, or you can come over to photop.com, which is free, and you can import your design and warp your text that way. That's all I've got for you guys. We'll see you next time.